Little Nightmares. It's a new game. Well, new for me, that is. I haven't played it myself. Uh, I hope it's not going to turn out into a big nightmare. Um, <laughs> Boo. Hey, Martin, how are you doing? Thanks for those bits. Appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by as well. Um, yeah, so I haven't played this game at all myself. This is the first time I'm going to play it. Um, the game's called Little Nightmares. Now, I don't like scary games. Let's start with that. Uh, I don't like them at all. So I, I looked into this game and I don't think it's a scary game per se, but it features some scary elements, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what, what the game is completely about. All I know is that it's got some kind of hide and seek mechanic into it. So, well, there's that. Other than that, you know, I'm looking forward to the weekend. I got a party tomorrow mo tomorrow all day, uh, well, tomorrow afternoon, basically. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of bummed out that everyone is playing the Anthem demo and I am not. Because I'm pretty curious about that game. You know, um, I love The Division, I love Destiny, and I believe Anthem is kind of like EA's answer to that. Now, with EA, I mean, it's Bioware, so there's that, but it's still EA, so... I really wanted to try it out, because I have no idea whether or not the game is going to be good. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I have no idea if the game is going to be good. So, I think I'm going to watch some streamers play Anthem, because I don't have the game, and I can't watch it myself. But for now, we're going to start with Little Nightmares. Now, I had the music on in the background which was the original soundtrack that I was listening to on YouTube, so I'm going to turn that down so we can actually hear the game music in a bit when I switch this over. Uh, I did see this game at a LAN party. It is nice. Good! That's good to know. Checking for downloadable content. Now, I think I literally only started the game once uh, to check all the settings uh, to make sure that every graphics thing was set to ultra or high because I think oh, my computer should be able to run that uh, chapter select can we see how many chapters there are oh wait it's actually gonna load something I didn't want to do that I just wanted to see how many chapters there were because I'm kind of curious okay I don't think there's a chapter select in here so let's just go back to the main menu and start a new game we're gonna see how many chapters there are while playing new game empty save slot here we go. Ah, what are all your plans for the weekend? I hope you got some good things lined up. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like over here. I think, you know, we still have snow outside, but I think the weather is going to be slightly warming up. And unfortunately, I think most of the snow that we have currently is going to be gone by the end of the weekend. And I'm not sure if there's going to be any new snow coming in. I hope there is, but... I really have no idea. Alright, let's see, we got this scary looking intro sequence. Hello, who and or what are you? I also got a party in the afternoon tomorrow, <laughs> nice! <laughs> well, I guess that was her little nightmare, it wasn't that big. Um, I mean, it lasted like, what? 30 seconds, maybe. So this is our character. I have no idea who she is, what her name is. Uh, we can walk around. It's not a 2D platformer. We can actually walk in 3D space. So it's, uh, you know, forward, backward, left and right. Which is a good thing to know. It's not It's not necessarily 2D. Um, let's go into this direction. We can actually trip over these cans. That's also good to know. I'm going to turn up the volume here. Uh, also, let me know. I'm, I, hang on. I think I'm going to have to turn up the volume for you guys as well. Otherwise, I don't think you can hear that much. Let's see, I think this should be better for you guys. At least you should be able to hear, you know, ambient sound. You should be able to hear the uh, sound of water tripling and her footsteps as she's walking in this house. We've got some, what appears to be, I don't know, pigeons. I mean, I kind of hate it that it's a 3D game, because that means that I want to explore li literally every nook and cranny. Can I get behind here? I can't, so I need to go to the front. Okay, 
Yeah, what's this thing? I want to open it. Can I? Oh wait, I can grab stuff. Okay. But I can't do anything with that. Okay. Can I jump? I can. Good. Good. That's good to know. I mean, I was kind of expecting like a tutorial or something like that, but I don't think there is going to be a tutorial. Okay, so I can't go any further. Uh, I think this is it. Hang on, I think I'm gonna actually turn off this light. Is it too dark? Let me know if it's too dark. We're got, but I think it sets the mood a bit better. Uh, press F to use the lighter. Ah, look at that. We can actually light, I think, this thing. There we go. I can probably open that. See, now that was actually a good, a good timed tutorial section. Let's go in there. How do we crawl? This button. Can we use the lighter in here as well? I hope she has like unlimited lighter fluids. And I hope she doesn't burn herself on the lighter. Oh, I like the, the, how the sound changes when the water drips on her raincoat. Your cam looks scary now too. There we go. See, that's the entire atmosphere that we were going for. Dark and scary, because that's apparently what this game is all about. Yeah, so I don't like horror games, so this is going to be an interesting experience, because I don't know how scary this game is going to be, um, if there's going to be any jump scares or something like that. I saw some people play Resident Evil 2 on stream as well today, because apparently that's... Well, there's a major hype for that game now because it's been re-released. Um, and you know, I kind of like the idea of playing a game like that, but I know that I'm probably going to freak out. Wait, can I open this? I can't open that. Okay, let's use the lighter again. We can actually go in here. Right, I can pick this up, take it with me. Hi yo, how are you doing Rosanna? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, as you can see, we've uh, set the mood with the game that I'm playing. It's a uh, little nightmares. My webcam is dark and, well, scary maybe, I guess. I don't have any light on this side, but I thought that would set the mood for this entire game. Decided to watch your stream instead of the official Sims one. Ah. Well, I'm honored, uh, because I know how much you love The Sims, so I'm honored that you uh, decided to watch me instead. Uh, so thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Starting the weekend all together, I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm not sure if I have to take this thing with me. Um, wait, did I see someone? Yeah, there's definitely someone behind that door. Um, so it's he or she gonna come in. Again, I have no idea if I have to take that thing with me. I feel that I should explore so much more in this game, but I don't know. Let's see, I can go in here. There's a, s a chair up there that is like I don't know why is it there that is a large bed yeah or it's a small girl I don't know whether or not the bed is large or the girl is small oh hang on hang on I can take can I take this with me no it's too heavy it's too heavy there is a pot over here I feel that I should put one of these no, also too heavy. I feel that I should w put one of these underneath neath this drip of water, but I know I can't push it, I can't pull it, so that's not gonna work. I kind of don't want to see this game, but at the same time I do. I love the style. Like you don't want to see it because you want to play it yourself, or you don't want to see it because you are scared of it. <laughs> because if you want to play it yourself, then I totally get it. Then uh, you know, by all means, feel free to uh, well not watch. I mean. Obviously, I'm not going to force you. Both. Yeah, I have no idea whether or not this is going to be a scary game. Um, I thought it was not going to be, like, super scary. But at the same time, I don't really know. 
I mean, what do I need to do with this thing? Please don't tell me I'm gonna be stuck. Ooh, I broke it. Which I think is a good thing. Um, but I don't know, I, I broke it and something got loose. Again, no idea if it's a good thing that it got loose or not. Um, okay, so I can't pull these things. I don't think it's too scary. Now I don't think so either. But, well, you never know. Okay, so I can't jump there. Wait, I feel that I'm missing something. Why can't I push these things? I'm quickly gonna double check if I'm missing like any buttons or something like that. Move up, down, left, right, look up, yeah, I get there, jump, throw, sprint, lighter, crouch, and grab. That's it. So literally those are the only things I can do. Why are there chairs on the ceiling? Yeah, that's a good question. I have no idea. I have no idea why they are there. Uh, I'd love to know that myself as well. Alright, can I pick up this thing? I can't. I feel there should be something that I should take with me. Okay, I can take this cup with me. Uh, again, no idea if that's going to do anything any good. But at least I can put this cup... Here, so it can be filled with water, maybe. Or not. Or not. The little character has such a Coraline vibe. Uh, I don't know if I know who Coraline is. Uh, I don't know if that's a bad thing if I, that I don't know that. Oh wait, there's something in here, I guess. Or is that just... Oh no, there's just lighting effects on these broken sh shards. Neil Gaiman book. I have no idea who Neil Gaiman is, but I trust you fully that you, if when you say that. Uh, okay, so I feel super bad for not knowing where I need to go. I mean, I think I need to go in there, but I have no idea how I'm going to get there. I mean, this bed definitely won't budge. I did get an achievement in Steam for highly sprung, so maybe if I jump... Oh wait, if I jump on here, then... Can I jump here on the back? Press and jump to grab. Okay, well, thank you, game. That was uh, a well-timed piece of tutorial over there. Good. Okay, so we got a piece of toilet paper. We got some slippers. We got a chair and... Ooh, someone... Someone's dangling there. That's... Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. Also got a note. A note that I can't pick up. Um, I can pick up the slippers though, but I don't think they're gonna do that guy any good anymore. I kinda can't deal with the fact that I have no idea what's going on yet. Like, what am I supposed to do? What is going on in this game? Is this real? Or is it just fantasy? Caught in a landslide and no escape from reality. I'm gonna link you some images over Messenger in a bit so you can view it later. Awesome, that's good, that's good. Do that, please do so. Educate me. Okay, so this piece of toilet paper. I'm pretty sure it's not here without a reason. Um, I can't... I can jump on top of it. No, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and see if I can throw it. Oh man, I feel like such a noob that I have no idea where I need to go. Can I pick up this mattress? Can I grab it, take it with me? Also, I can't. Can I move the chair? That's a good suggestion, I don't know. Oh, I can, good. Good thinking. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, this guy, he's not probably not going to do anything anymore anyway, so I might as well take his chair with me. Can I? Okay, so I, there is a little bump here, so I can't slide it all the way to the door like I'd want. Sliding controls are tricky. There we go. 
I do like... Ooh, I see movement. I definitely do like, you know, the fact that... The scenes transition slowly into the next one. I like that. Hang on, I'm gonna turn my phone to silent because I keep getting messages. Which is somewhat annoying. There we go. Um, so, I, yeah, I like how scenes transition like that. I feel that slowly we are getting somewhere. Also, I think is this oil? Because if is it, if it is, is it clever that I'm walking here with my lighter? Oh, look at that! This is awesome. Look, I'm leaving tiny little footprints, and there are some big footprints there as well. So whatever this is, you know, whether it's oil or paint or whatever, look, I'm leaving tiny little footprints when I'm walking around. That's a lovely little detail. I like that. I like that. The movement is just a large metal fan. That is indeed correct. Okay, so I'm um, turning off my lighter. I can open the door. It has a pair of shoes. Oh, wait. I can actually climb up. Nice. Good. Good. Now, okay, this is maybe annoying, but I'm I'm hugely for exploring game world. So, since I can go over here, I'm kind of like, yeah, I want to see what's what's if there's something else here. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe the game wants me to to actually go here. Uh, I don't think so in this case, but prepare to see me do a lot of backtracking just to get to potential other areas. Alright, so the location that we are in is... Ooh. What's this? Okay, that's apparently something that I don't want to touch. That's a good thing to know. Uh, I think I got killed by whatever that was. So that's a good first lesson. So it's some kind of slimy worm or something, I don't know. Whatever we do, don't touch it. There's another one. Maybe it's a leech. I, th I guess it's a leech. Oh crap, there's several more of them. I mean, I'm no expert in leeches, but... I don't think... Uh, in this game we're supposed to touch it. Okay, I can pick this up. Uh, I don't know why that's not hot to touch for her, but okay, whatever. Leeches are coming in. Can I burn them? Dude, go away. Don't follow me like that. That's 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 nasty. Okay, wait, hang on. I think I can grab this. Which opens the door and I can go in. Hopefully the leeches won't follow me because that is just gross. Cool. Here we are. So it is kind of scary, yeah, well, at least there is some kind of monsters involved, I guess. Uh, yeah, same thing here. I mean, obviously I can climb up. I think. Am I supposed to climb up? No, I don't think so in this case. I agree though, you know, I agree with what you said. The, the art style of this game is pretty, pretty amazing. I mean, there's a lot of noise in the, uh, um, you know, in, in, in the environment. Um, ooh, yeah, I did not expect that. And now I'm all dirty. Oh, and there's a ton of leeches or, you know, creatures, whatever they are. Oh boy, there's like literally a ton. Ah, uh, this is nasty. I don't want them to, you know, touch me or grab me or suck me dry or whatever. Like this, there we go. But yeah, you know the art, art style of this game. It looks quite amazing. I really like it. I think it's uh, it's quite something. 
I don't think I've I've seen a game that looks anything like this. It reminds me a bit of Unravel. Yeah, I absolutely understand what you mean. Uh, I recently started playing Unravel 2 together with Peter because that game relies what, kind of heavily on uh, corporate, cooperative play. So we started playing that together and uh, well, I, we also have part 1. I never actually played that fully myself, which is kind of a shame because it's quite a lovely game and I absolutely need to try it, but yeah. I haven't. There was a gnome running away. Yeah, I think it's a gnome. I've seen several of them running away. There we go. Ah! Let there be light. Oh, and let there be darkness again. Hang on. Can I lock this somehow? Oops. Yeah, not a good idea. Yeah, we played one together, but on our own PCs. Now we played two, two on the PS4 together. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if you want to play Unravel 2, and you're, you know, just by yourself, how the game is going to deal with that, because if the other character is, like, AI-operated, then that would definitely be annoying, I guess. Ah, uh, can I make it? I can't make it, okay. Uh, okay, so I can't, I, you know, there's no way I can make that. Can I make this jump? I can, good, okay, so that's something that I can try out. I can't imagine that works well. Yeah, and, you know, controlling two characters with one controller, same thing. I don't know if that would work so well. There we go. Close one, but we made it. You know, controlling the both the two persons uh, but the two characters with one controller I think technically it would be possible but I don't know uh, especially with a nervous person like myself I don't necessarily do well with platform kind of games in general oh dude what what are those are those good things are those bad things but with Wouter I can do Cobra because he knows me <laughs> Okay, so I can't really open it to get in there, which is fine. I mean, I keep th having the feeling that I'm missing something that I should explore a bit more, but uh, yeah, I guess this is really it. Hello, am I like, am I there? Oh, here we are. Okay, good. Wout was sad that he was missing the beginning of this stream. Ah, was he? Did he want to see it as well? Well, I, I, I can't really go back, but he can watch the start on the, of the VOD later, of course, if he wants to. But luckily, I haven't been. You know, not a lot of happens. Okay, so there's another character. Also, how the game is like shifting the camera upwards very subtly so you know that you're not alone in this world yeah i wasn't expecting a lot of people to actually have interest in this game because it's quite old uh, but it's good to see that actually people do so that's nice okay so at first i thought i was you know the game took place in like an old shed or like a barn something like that um but i'm Taking that back. Hey there, Wouter, how are you doing? <laughs> Can you restart? I missed the beginning. <laughs> well, you didn't miss that much yet, so that that's good. That's good. Uh, okay, so there's nothing else here. There is an interesting faucet. Uh, that I kind of like. Kind of industrial, if you will. I missed the beginning too, and I'm not asking this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close the door if I can. There we go. Boom, because that reveals this. That I can't get to, obviously. 
How's the sound for you guys, by the way? I mean, I f feel that sound is quite important in this game. So let me know if you think it's good enough. Look around using... Ah! Look at that. Okay, so... Doing this will probably unlock that, which will unlock that, I suppose. Uh, but I kind of figured that out. Uh, I can inform you about the leeches that you missed. Isn't he a she in this game? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Ooh. I think it is a she. Let's quickly go to, I guess. There we go. Okay, so these are some blocks that I just knocked over. Uh, that I thought would be, you know, an achievement. Oh, maybe if we knock all of them over. Okay, we got a little train. Let's not, not knock the blocks over in the path of the train, because that's not nice. Uh, I think also these are the blocks that we see in the, like, you know, promotional art of the games, stuff like that. Um, okay, that ball is suddenly moving. Why is that? The seesaw that actually works. Nice. Uh, if I can, I get on top there. I mean, do I want to get on top there? That's maybe another question. I mean, the lighting effects. You know, I, I, you know, I. I'm impressed, I've said it before, but I'm impressed with the, the style of this game. I love the lighting effects, um, you know, near the lamp, you know, this little shade of, well, actual light that you get. I don't know, I like it. It gives off a, a, certain, co a certain mood that I think fits this game really well. But, you know, I'm also easily impressed b with, like, everything in life. So, I don't know, others may be like, well, big deal, you know. It's just a lamp. It's casting shadows. whoop de doo But I don't know. I like it. Okay, so we got this. Do I need to, like... Okay, so I can swing, but... I don't th know if it actually does anything. Okay, so the seesaw just got back. Um, I do think that I need to climb up. Then quickly run to this side. Jump off and grab that. There we go. No, don't, don't. Ah. Okay, controls are still a little finicky, but I'll get there. I mean, that's, that's what I mean. Because it's like 3D, it's not just a 2D platformer. That is kind of tricky, but I'll make it. Uh, Rose just told me you don't know Coraline. Remember to ask us to borrow the book and or movie tomorrow. Yeah, she just sent me some, some links, I think, or some images or something like that. Come on. Um, to, edu to educate me. Okay. Those are some interesting physics, you know. The, the seesaw went onto the block and the block went like, whoop, up in the air. That's interesting. Okay. And jump, grab it, there we go. Jump up, grab that, good, good. Now we're doing something. Um, okay, I'm gonna drop that down because I don't know. Okay, that, that, you know, that's coming straight out of a horror game. That suddenly that thing is like making noise. Yeah, that's uh... Okay, let's see. I can actually go back through here now. I think I need to do this again. And then I think I want to speed through. So let's r make a run for it. Go, 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 go! Can I turn on the lights? So I see where I'm going. There we go. Okay, so. We've got three doors. One of them with, uh, well, without 
I think, like, any light source behind it. What's gonna be behind door number five? There's blocks very specifically in front of this door. Um, I'm gonna take one with me. I don't know why, but I felt like it. So, sue me. Okay, we got a source of light that is clearly trying to find me. Um, I'm gonna throw this away because I don't need that anymore. Okay, so I'm safe here. Um, I don't, you know, I think I don't want to be found by the light source. That is like my first thing that I feel. So let's keep going. I don't know who's controlling the light source. Uh, I don't know what's happening if it does spot me, but I don't think it can be good. Um, I can't light this again. Don't know if I want to, but well, I just did. Wait, maybe those are checkpoints. That would kind of make sense. Um, can I grab onto these? I can grab onto these. Okay, good. Good. So far, you know, the entire mystery surrounding the game, that's what I think is the most scary, because I have no idea where I am, what is happening, what is gonna happen, I don't know. I think that's, for now, like, the most tricky thing. Uh, let's see, okay, so I can get in here. Uh, there's, again, the paint or the oil or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, and there's another one of these statues that I could throw, which... Again, you know, like you said, it appeared to be auto-saving when I did that, just as I, it was doing when I was, uh, you know, lighting the, uh, uh, you know, the candle thingy, so... I'm assuming that do breaking those statues is something good. But I don't know. I guess we're gonna f find out eventually. Oh, there's a ton of doors and I want to open all of them. Uh, but I can't. The sound effects in this game, you know, I think... I love it how they, with uh, like very little actual sounds, can create such an intense atmosphere. I'm gonna actually turn on this, turn up the sound a little bit more, to immerse myself even further in this game. There we go. Something's happening. Okay, our first creature. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna want to see us. Yeah. It's funny that I just at this exact moment decided to turn up the volume. Okay, so he's leaving. Okay. Um, I th okay, I do not want to play it anymore. <laughs> okay, so I feel that whenever I leave, he's going to come back. You know, he's not going to... Can I get underneath here? I can't. Okay. Why is this floor so making so much noise? What the hell? Um, okay, yeah. Let's kill the lighter. Oh, wait. I can, I can climb here. I can climb this. Good. You're not scared of anything. Um, well, you know, if that's true, then I'd love to see uh, Wouter stream Outlast, because I have it on my Steam, uh, and part of me is like, yeah, just play it, and the biggest part of me is like, yeah, please don't play it, because you're definitely going to die while playing that game. Um, but, you know, if you are scared of nothing, then I, I'd love to see you play that. Maybe with Ro Rosie next to you, so we can, you know, see her reaction while playing it. He will only stream with me there. Yeah, well, then that's the, the funny thing. He's playing, you're watching. And then we are watching while the two of you are playing. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
Well, at least for viewers, I think it will be an interesting and entertaining stream. Um, for you guys, I don't know. Kind of gory though. Outlast. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's also one of those games that... Wait, what's going to happen? Is she hungry? Is she possessed by a demon? Okay, I think she's hungry. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, Outlast is one of those games that I'd love to play. Just to experience it, but I know that th that's just not going to work. I think I can play like one minute, pause the game to get back to my, you know, my senses, play for another minute, and pause the game again. Okay, so there's this kid. What is happening? Does she need to pee? Well, she's got a rain jacket on. I think, you know, it can handle that if she... She need oh wait thank you she's eating that kind like she's a little monster but okay whatever thank you who are you what are why are you there where are all the other kids um, so many questions so many questions But yeah, I was saying earlier, you know, I'd love to play the new Resident Evil. Uh, well, the new old Resident Evil, basically, Resident Evil 2. Released, I think, like, somewhere this week. Um, but yeah, that's one of those games that... Also, I don't think I will last through really long in one sitting. Okay, so the showers here, they could definitely use some uh, some expert plumbing. Ah, someone's got a lot of boxes. Okay, so this fence is electrified again. If we look up, uh, I don't see how we can turn off the electricity. I'm actually hoping to get access to the NO1800 beta next week. Not scary at all, but looking forward to it nevertheless. Yeah, that's not a scary game, but hey, that's that's okay, that's okay. Um, not really my type of games, but well, if you if you signed up for it, then I hope that you actually gain access to it. Okay, I didn't hear a. Th there we go. Are we gonna stream that? Sure. Well, you know, as long as the NDA would allow it, then uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, so I just dropped one of these down. I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but... Um, okay, so I can't get up there. Can I do anything back here? Oh, wait. I don't think I can pull this, can I? Nope. No NDA for this beta, according to the latest blog post. Oh, nice. Well, you know what, then? I hope you actually get access, because uh, I think a lot of people might tune in. Which is, you know, which is always good. Uh, I wish I could switch the camera now, because I'm not sure if I can actually take this thing with me. No, apparently there's a, uh, a little, you know, a little bump whatever you'd call it, in the uh, floor. Um, yeah. Okay, so, how are we gonna continue? How are we gonna cut off the power? Can I open this thing? No, can I climb up here? Well, that I can. Oh, don't fall down. Um, I can't jump as far to the noose, so that's not going to do me any good. Uh, I don't know, I had early access to Get Famous and that didn't really give me a lot of additional viewers, to be honest. 
Yeah, I don't know how popular the Anno games are these days. Um, I mean, for instance, Anthem. I think the beta is like live at this exact moment. Um, and I think lots of people were looking forward to that. So I think it totally depends on the, on the game. Oh, I can grab that. Uh, jump. There we go. Grab it. Climb up. No. Okay, well at least I can walk here. So that's good. We're going to see if we can find something up there. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound safe. Can't go down. Can we climb that? Okay, no. Can't get up there. Okay, so that works. Good. Good. Uh, okay, that's, I think, another safe point over here. But we're definitely gonna light. There we go. Uh, and I feel that I can open this, or maybe not. Oh, wait, no. Obviously not. I think I'm gonna have to jump. Good. That went well. Are you kidding me? I just hit, turned on the autosave over there. Now I have to start all the way back here again. And it was quite a niche game, best known in Germany probably. Yeah, what's up with Germans and simulator games? I mean, I think like, you know, bus driver simulator, uh, tractor simulator, airport simulator, all those games are like super popular in Germany. I mean, fine by me, but what's up with Germans and wanting to simulate everything? I think my my favorite simulator game is uh, uh, Landwirtschaft Simulator, which is basically like a tractor simulator. Um, and you know, every Gamescom when I went, it was like one of the highlights of the show. You saw always so many people that wanted to play Landwirtschaft Simulator. Okay, jump, grab it, there we go, good, good. Such a big booth too, yeah, I know, I know, like, what the hell? Okay, can I climb this? I can, nice, okay, so we don't have to do something with the electric fence, I guess, we just have to climb all the way up here. I mean, fine by me, I don't care. Um, okay, so I can go here, where there's like that. Um, well, let's first keep climbing, see where we end up. Okay, nowhere, obviously. Okay, good. Let's go back down. Good. Alright, let's get up there. Garbage truck simulator. Well, yeah, I think that's like literally a game um, that indeed exists. Okay, so there's two things. Let's first try this one. And then we have that. Oh wait, no, 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 hang on. Ah, okay, I see how this works. Okay, hang on. Because I can smash it all the way over there I mean I don't know if I want that but I mean oh wait hang on does this work like this do I have to hold it I do not okay so I could probably let it come this way boom yep there we go then I'm gonna set it that way and I'm gonna jump there we go hold on to something <laughs> don't wake the neighbors yeah or well, that creepy guy that was in here earlier with the long arms and yeah okay so we got this old 
dusty filing cabinet. Um. Wait, I can probably open this. There we go. Luckily, that didn't make like any noise at all. Like. Wait, this one's stuck? Are you kidding me? Okay, so that one's stuck. Um, so. This one won't budge either. Ah, so the game is like, yeah, you think you need to get the first set of uh, filing cabinets, but no, you don't. You actually need to get another one. Okay, quickly go through. I mean, someone's bound to notice that. Power is out. I don't know if it's going to come back on. Alright, so we got this. We can probably slide that in there. I think. There we go. Now uh, there's another one of these gnomes, leprechaun thingies that is gonna escape now. Good. I think. I mean, I don't know if we need to let them set them free, but I guess we do. Um, why is it closing again? Okay, so I think we need to push this off. There we go. That would probably... Um, yeah, I guess we... Grab this. Let's see where we're gonna end up. What building is this anyway? Like... Uh, I kind of don't want to let go because I'm afraid that this is where I started just now and I have to do it all over again, but I guess there's no other choice for me. Wow. That was loud. That was loud. Again, please do let me know if the audio is okay because I think though, I, you know, it, it kind of gave me a loud feedback in the uh, meters, but I think that was just because it was a loud bump. Oh god, no, 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 no. Where did these come from? Leave me alone. Oh wait, now I can of course go through this fence. Gates thing, whatever. Leave those leeches behind. Um, okay, so there's I think two options. I can go here. Okay, I can't go there. Okay, so we got another eye in the sky, if you will. <laughs> uh, ah! Okay, I made it. I made it. I'm good. I think. So far, so good. Hey Jason, how are you doing? Thank you so much. Uh, this is like my first time playing it. So I am super curious about everything that is happening. I have like literally no idea. I'm like, where am I? What the hell is going on? And why is this so creepy? Well, thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate that. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, let's make a run for that. Jump up. Yeah. Hello, do something. There we go. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to turn down the sound just a little bit for you guys. Because I fear otherwise... You can't hear me. So, okay, that was close. Oh, I love, you know, how, you know, this, this... 
I don't, I'm not sure what it's called, like chromatic aberration or something like that. Um, audio is good actually, okay, let's turn it back just a tad. I'm going to listen back after the stream to see, you know, what the audio levels were. So I can take notes of that for the next time I play the game. Uh, but, you know, I like this, you know, this kind of RGB effect thingy, if you will, on this grate here. I love that. Um, I, don't, I was pointing it with my mouse. I don't know if you could see that, but I kind of really like that. Tiny little details like that. Okay, so it's dark back here. I'm kind of going to check. Just to be sure I don't missing anything. I'm not. Good. Good. Ah! Achievement, the prison. So I think I finished this level.